The European bison is a living treasure for Russia and the heaviest land animal in Europe. Males can weigh up to 1,200 kilograms. Once, herds of thousands roamed the continent from Britain to Iran. But hunting and the destruction of forests killed all the wild bison, leaving only a few surviving animals in captivity. Even in Tsarist times, they'd recognized just how rare this species was, so that hunting them was punishable by death, unless you were part of the elite. But that didn't stop them being all but wiped out. The last recorded wild bison was shot in the Caucasus in 1927. Breeding farms like the Priokso Terazny Reserve in Russia offer families a chance to enjoy the ancient species, whose ancestors were contemporaries of the woolly mammoth. If we do not protect what we have and don't breed what we have, then we will lose what remains. The bison is a true European animal, but in our forests today, you can't even see a fox. Through reintroduction schemes, Russia now has about 200 European bison living in the wild. But with so few left, their genetic pool has been weakened through inbreeding, and they're at risk of disease. We have the huge population of bison in Belarusian Pusha, in Poland, um, but um, this population is totally ill. Problem now is how to isolate uh, our population from migrating animals from Poland through Ukraine. With such a huge territory, Russia bears the burden of responsibility for providing sanctuary to the European bison. The hope is that sustainable herds of over a thousand animals might one day be possible, but only if time, conservation and luck are on the bison's side. Robin Forestier-Walker, Al Jazeera, in the Priyakso Terazny Reserve.